Oh my gosh, you got oh, me on a different side. Go, this like, is got not. Got and everything. I need my laptop. Oh, my shit over there. My drink over there. Grab mine. Why you got way more? Nigga, I bet. Nigga, shit, man. Like, you just always, women always, that's what they always do, bro. They gonna take you. I had, I was full. Okay, guys. You know, took half I of, hope y'all can hear us over here. Yes, We're they gonna can, get... baby. Don't oh. be crazy. Like, they can hear <laughs> <laughs> you like it, you know you from the country. <laughs> well, you exactly from the country. Okay, first off, okay, sorry. What you running? You all right, it. can you move over an inch? I'm not really, I feel like, okay. You all the way in it. You just don't see the other part of the camera, like behind the thing, go ahead. Okay. Hey guys, um, my name is Rashida, and welcome to my channel. Hey guys, how you doing? So glad to be here, you know, it's a dope situation. I am DG. I have a channel too, so this is gonna be on two channels. Yes, cool eats. No, cool cool telly. telly. Sorry, I'm getting yeah, nervous. Me. What you getting? My nervous hands about? sweat. I don't know. I okay. never did it before. Hey, Marsha Mathis. Palms are sweaty. Knees weak. Rabbit. He rabbit face ass. Guys, you can check. Y'all wanna know how we met? Y'all wanna know how all this even got started, anyway, right? Wait, we, I was gonna what say. What you doing? You can check it. Can we say that line again? Go ahead, go okay. Ahead, don't okay. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Rashida and this is my man. Hey everybody, I'm DG and this is my woman. That good? Guys, this is our first time doing this, so it's actually gonna be on both of our channels. My channel is um, at RZ Beach or I am Zakia. They said, my channel is DG. Oh no, it ain't it, I'm gonna get my IG. My channel is Cool Telly in real life. Just exactly. Cool Telly. What you getting that for? Cause that was the second am time not, we did am it. Am I not doing it? That I, I was the second perfect. time we did it. She, she want me to be perfect. No. That's what I can't do when I can't be perfect, bro. <laughs> like, why can't I just be me? I make mistakes. You're right, baby. So I want you to tell them how we met. Oh, you want me to do it? Why we can't do it? See, that's what I'm I talking about. I want you about. to start, start off. I want, why? Right, okay. I was up late at night one night. I'm like, boy, shit. On Instagram, looking through that motherfucker. And she was bad. I was running the um, I had my own radio show I had, you know, and I always, I, I worked during the day, so at night, that's when I actually look for my guests and stuff for my show, and um, I hit her up, I didn't think she was going to respond back, you know, but she did, and when she did, I was like, hey, I would like to have you on my show, you know, interview you, you know, I see, I see you got, you know, your music going on, you, you're doing some things right now, so it's like, I want to bring you in, and you know, See what you're talking about. I really would like, I wanted to see in real life. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I thought she was bad, bro. I'm like, bro, I gotta get in my presence. So I was like plotting and planning and doing two things at one time. And I didn't know any of this. I really just was all about business. I actually had a boyfriend at the time. To be honest, I was about business too because, I, you know, whenever she came, you know, I, I mean, I was like, I, I, yeah, I felt like you were too. I was, I was about, like, I really was, I had, I tried to be about business, but I was like physically attracted to you when I first met, when I first seen you. He thought I was a regular girl, then he saw me in real life, and he was like, yeah, she That's was exactly so petite, what happened. bro, with a fat ass. Is that was bad to say that like that. No, <laughs> but she was though, like she was so petite with a big old booty, like, and I'm like, dang, like, and she gorgeous, she classy looking though. That's the thing about, it. that's what, cause. She classy looking, bro. Like so, it's like it's it's the best of both worlds for me because that's what I like. You know what I'm saying? I want you know whatever in the room, whatever they say you in the room, but then you class in the street. You know what right? I'm saying? Exactly. Uh, that's what I like and need. So I walked into the studio and mm. I was with my boyfriend at the time, and he was actually recording. I thought you the cameraman. That one I don't even want to be no cameraman with her. Whenever I did it before, I ain't gonna even flex. I done did it for a before I done been it. Cause I was just thinking he was a straight cameraman. You know what I'm saying? So I was flirting with her hard on air. You feel me? And no disrespect to old dude. Cause I wasn't trying to do that. I wasn't trying to flirt with my girl in your face at that time. <laughs> I, anyways, as well, like I was saying. Go ahead. My fault. <laughs> she got it. She gets it. That's why I let you go first. Mm, go ahead. So I walked in there, I was wearing a pink dress, and he had his little hat on backwards, just like he does now. Yeah. And um, we, was, we were talking. Red hat too. Mm -hmm. He was right in front of me, like he was interviewing me, and he had this guy named Red Man with him, and I could not, oh my gosh, y'all. Red Man. <laughs> this was the funniest radio interview I've ever done. Like, I've never had 
somebody had me laughing like red man had me rolling and it was perfect because dg at the time that's why i call him dg you know dg cool whatever who cares i call him chris now but he was trying to keep it professional you could tell he was trying to keep everything moving forward yeah. but he kept giving me the googly eyes no, like yes you was yes you right. was like you talking loud of me don't no, make right. no 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 y'all <laughs> listen i was just answering the questions and i wasn't trying to be extra and stuff because i my boyfriend was there recording Shorty, you were looking at me no. in the eyes Shorty, and you made me nervous because at that point in time like oh there's her boyfriend now he did not know that was my boyfriend that's a fact like we had went to break and then I figured it out. Somebody told me. Oh, okay. So it was like, then it's like, now I'm up here interviewing. Now I'm trying to, now I'm aware that it's your boyfriend. So I'm trying to switch up I my whole style. That. Yeah, I'm trying to switch up my whole style of, of interviewing you. I'm trying not to be, you know, as flirtatious and look in your eyes. I just like felt that. like, honestly, we couldn't help it. Right. You like, started it though. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I was looking at him like, She's, I mean, mm, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. shit, why not? Who wouldn't? They start looking. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so the interview went great. I yeah, met yeah, yeah. um you know Red Man which now I know is Damien which is his uncle. Yeah. Um, like yeah. I'm a b very big family man. You know what I'm saying? I, I I'm really close knit. I really don't freak with too many outside people or outside side sources. So, you know, if I even try to create something, I try to use what's close to me. That what they right. say, bro, you can't you gotta use the tools, you know, that that you that you have. And it was crazy because my dad actually was listening into this interview. Like, I don't know how my dad um, found the information. Like, I have so much going on. Sometimes I just try to keep them involved. And he found it. He was like, "Whoa, what are they asking you all that crazy stuff?" And he was just like, "That was a crazy interview." And I was like, "Yeah, Dad, I can't believe it was that." A dope interview. Yeah, he was saying it was really cool and dope. He really liked it. Um, yeah, so that but was the first the time we met. After the interview, after the interview. You know, I was like, bro, I gotta see her again, bro. Cause I, I, had, I had to keep professional because I had a task that I was trying to, you know what I'm saying? She was, like I say, she she had so much going on, like what, what she was doing, like she she's yeah. who she is, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, I had to keep professional. I wanted that interview, you know what I'm saying? But I was still attracted to you. Why are you looking at me like that? Anyway, I'm trying to tell the people what it is. You're trying to googly eye me, you know what I'm saying? Then when she did even... me in the interview, she googly eye. <sighs> they said, but anyway, like, so, she leaving. I'm walking their ass. I really don't even walk people out once in view of I right, we do take the pictures now. Oh yeah, y'all kept trying to invite us to that party. Yeah, I was trying to get our ass back any way possible in my sight. Yeah, I was we'll like, be okay. back. And I was like, you're a damn lie. I was like, like yeah, back. maybe. I'm like, you're a lie though. I, I was you lying. lying. Yeah, he yeah. knew I was lying. And then I tried to get her to no. I was like I had I was like I got to see her again. I manage an artist too. So and she sang. So I hit her up one day, boom. We were talking on the phone too, huh, sometimes. Like, not really like, no, not no. Was not. No, I'm saying not like that, but it's like, whenever I called you, I called you like once or twice, and like, we popped on the phone too. Like, we had good conversation on the phone. No, we didn't. Twice, I remember I was driving on the express when I invited you to the, um, when I invited you to the um, listening party.